And this time is on my Jason Voorhees um, 7 inch Mezco's uh, Jason Voorhees Friday 13th remake figure. I believe I'm the first one on YouTube to have a review of him, so. Hell yeah, but um. This figure is very cool, very, very detailed. I just want to say Mezco, this is my favorite Jason they've made. It's that good. Um. It's just awesome. The detail's amazing. He looks like how he did in the movie. Oh, the previews I've seen how he looks. This is how he looks. Looks just like that. It's very detailed. This look of Jason is really, really, really cool. And uh, should be a good, really good movie. So now on to the review. The mask is very detailed, but sadly you cannot take it off. Yeah, I know that really sucks, but the the mask on this time is just excellent. Um, it's very nice, very nicely uh, detailed. Looks exactly like the movie one. In this movie, he wears a longer jacket, which I think is really cool. It's got the nice, the cool uh, little crisscrosses on the arms. It's got the good length and the little, like, I don't know what to call it, but the top part of it's got the little good sculpt on that. The pants have great sculpt, they have the rips in the pants. It's very cool, greatly sculpted. Um, things he, and he has the machete holder on his leg, which is very, very cool. You can put it in there, but I'm displaying with the machete, so there's really no point. The things that he came with was, he came with, he came with an axe. It's very cool. And he came with a pickaxe, which is very cool. Um, and he came with the machete, of course, I have in his hand. Um, let me spin him around really quick. As you know, even the creator said they kind of took the look for the remake. They fused his face with part four and two. They kind of mixed it together. That's why he's like the red hair. Um, it's very cool. Um, I definitely rec definitely recommend this to any Jason fan out there, even if the well, the movie comes out in a week, even if you see the we uh, movie and don't like it. But this is still a great look for Jason and a great figure. Your collection is not complete if you do not have this figure. Um, it's just very cool. It actually fits in nicely with the other Jasons. I already made a spot for it. I'm running out of room, though. I'm going to buy a, have to buy a whole new shelf. My 7-inch shelf is uh, full. So that's a good sign for you viewers viewers out there that have a lot more to come. I've gotten a request for part four Jason, Mezco, Jason X figure, um, and uh many more. And uh I will get all get to all those, but I have to get variety and then I have to go have to show leather faces, Jason's, Freddy's and even amount. So all my viewers are happy. And um next review will be on Weatherface Part two. And then after that will be my uh, Mezco Jason Cinema F Cinema Fear Deluxe Figure Part 7. Um, and that should be an interesting view because that's a really cool figure. But uh, let me do a whole thing here. It's got the nice detail on the shirt, all the little rips, the dirt on top, this like sweat looking. It's very cool. I've seen a couple of clips of the movie and man, does it look awesome. Um, I know when Michael Bay and all of them did the Text Chance of Massacre remix, and I actually like the remix of Text Chance of Massacre better than the original. It's more serious. And Leatherface had a more um, intimidating look. So this should be very interesting. Of course, the Friday 13th original series cannot be beat, but there's nothing wrong with liking it the same. <laughs> but I don't know, I have to see the movie, but it looks good. And, uh, so here's my review of my, uh, Mezco Cinema Fear Jason Forey's from Friday 13th Remake and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, I hope you enjoyed it like I said it's the first review of him on YouTube yet so uh thanks for watching please rate comment negatively or positively um, I'm going to be putting more reviews on quicker um, so you guys are happier 
I got a lot to do, and uh, I did order the 18 inch one of this guy, the NECA one, which is highly detailed. It's supposed to be getting here on Monday, so stay tuned for that. Of course, when my parents bought it for me, I didn't have money at the time, so I'm going to have to pay them back, so it could be a little later that week. But, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, Freddy's Nightmare's out.